Hi everyone, it's Laura. So I am filming with my cell phone just because I'm making this video, I hope, pretty quick. So I am back from taking my real test today and this is my second attempt and I did pass. So I am super happy. I feel so much relieved and more calm, you know, after all of this has happened. So I did get my license today. They did give me a hard copy. I thought they would give me like a temporary one, but they didn't. Um, so the only reason why I am making this video is because when I would search YouTube videos like um driver road test in Pennsylvania, my son is with me. Yes. Okay. So just if you hear him, he's two years old. He's walking around. So. Like I was saying, so every time when I would search Pennsylvania road test, um, there wouldn't be any, probably like one, but it's like very blurry, of where I took the test. So I couldn't get any like insight. You understand what I'm trying to say? So that's why I wanted to make this video. The test site that I went to is the one here in Reading, Pennsylvania. It's in Shillington. So I think it's actually the only DMV here in Berks County. So it gets pretty busy. And that's a tip number one. If you are planning to do your test, um, try to book your appointment early. Because it can take probably like a whole month for you to get your, your appointment or your test date. So... When I went, so I'm going to go from the beginning. I went to take my permit um, test, you know, the written test, and I passed on the first try. So that was really easy. Just have to study the manual book really well. They're, um, they have some apps that are like practice tests. They have like 15 questions, I think, or uh, 20, I don't remember, um, where they give you like sample exams on the app so you could download them in your uh your app store on your phone so that's what i did and i passed on the first try um i didn't get any wrong so and i have like my notes here that i want to mention um so yeah so that was back in february so keep that in mind that's when i got it in february so I booked two classes, like driver's ed, and I only took two classes, and I stopped. The only reason why I stopped is because I have a son, so it's much harder because, you know, there's stuff always happens, and I couldn't, like, find anybody to take me, uh, like practicing, you know, so I wouldn't have to pay all of those classes because they're like 65 for like one hour. And um, some family problems happened. Like I swear, this year, 2019, because this isn't 2019, by the way, if you're watching this in the future, it was a lot of stuff happened. Like I had to fly out of the country, like a lot of things. I swear, this this year, I was in out of the hospital. So I just I just stopped practicing. I couldn't. And I, I always, oh, I'll do it next month. I do it next month until it was October. And I had remembered, like what I just said, that they had told me that it takes a while to book your, your road test. So I was like, I have to get it done because my permit expires February 1st of 2020. So I started practicing with my husband. Um, that's who I practice the most with. He is the best and I love him and so I would tell my mom to come from New York because we're originally from New York that's why I'm getting my license at 26 years old because you know in New York you don't need like a car it's not like a necessity not like here in Pennsylvania where you actually do need a car to like go anywhere but that's like um the only reason why I'm doing it until I'm 26 now but uh yeah so I told my mom to please travel to Pennsylvania so she could watch my son while I went to practice. And and just a note, I mean New York City because I am originally from New York City. Because probably in New York State you would need a car. 
anyway so that happened i practiced with my husband every day after he got off of work so i am so thankful because i know he would be so tired and there was times where i had to take my son so i mean I, that's why i wanted to get this done because like i i would feel bad for my husband like having to go to work coming he would just like have a quick dinner and then we would go practice and then my son would be waiting you know toddlers are very impatient so i am so so happy that i'm done with that okay so i booked i went online i booked my appointment this was in october and i got it until november 16th i believe so when november 16th rolled around i went to do my test and i was so nervous like i was really really nervous and the thing is that i had practice at the dmv site like parking getting out driving around parking getting out and i would do it perfectly like honestly like and i don't want to sound like um you know but i would do it perfectly honestly and so i was really confident honestly i thought i was gonna pass my husband thought i was gonna pass everybody was like no you got it my my mother because she would come um to help with my child once in a while and they were like oh you're gonna pass and i honestly thought i was gonna pass so that's another thing do not underestimate your anxiety or how nervous you can be because it can hinder you because it did to me when i got to that test site i was so nervous honestly like i was i just wanted to do it and like get it over with so you have to breathe just breathe and do one thing at a time um the guy the the instructor he was I would say pretty nice um he was a little confusing with the directions that he told me and i think that's what like set me off or got me more nervous because you know um in pennsylvania they make you parallel park first before anything before even like doing anything you have to do parallel parking so when i turned towards the parking little thing that you have to do I aligned myself and then he told me to align myself you know like bumper to the first cones and when I did that he told me to stop because he wanted to give me more directions apparently so I put my foot on the brake and I was already aligned and because I didn't put it in parking he told me that that could have cost me my whole test which in that moment like everything like all this information fluttered in my brain you know i was like i was thinking like damn if he told me i was literally about to fail just because of that then i probably won't be able to do any mistakes you know because like how, how many mistakes can i make like i'm not even outside of the parking lot yet so that just got me so nervous and so I put it in parking and by the time he told me to start, when I put it in reverse, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So he made me park before parking. You understand? He made me park the car before like even reversing. And honestly, like in all the videos that I saw on YouTube of California or any other state that I would watch, you know, like tests, I never saw that. And it's not even the manual, but I guess he wanted to tell me instructions. Um, like more instructions so just be cautious like i said take your time with things do not try to do it fast just breathe and listen to what your instruction the instructor says so by the time i went and did reverse um you okay <laughs> uh i hit the curb and apparently yeah i failed so i couldn't believe it. I honestly, I was so devastated. I was pissed off. I, I swear, I, I, I didn't understand, like, why. You understand? It's just, it's the worst feeling. Yeah, so my son is here with me. Um, yeah, so I failed. And just an FYI, practice at the DMV, honestly. Just practice. And 
the one the test site that i went to again shillington bricks county they have the cones right and apart from that they have like a white box that you have to fit inside because i know some other sites as long as you are aligned with the cones you pass and it's not necessarily for this um test site so that's just like a, a tip you have to make sure that you are inside of the white box so whenever i used to practice i would park and open my door and my husband would open his door and you know to double check that you were inside the white line because i know in the beginning i didn't really notice that and i thought i'm aligned i i'm good but then i realized that the white box and the structure instructor um i think he does get out and like look sometimes so just be cautious so the car that i did my test in is my and my husband's car and it's a jeep compass so the instructor told me that perhaps i should try doing my test on a smaller regular car uh he said because you know the jeep has a very touchy pedal you know because it's very potent and maybe that's why but i mean like i had said i had done this a million times before so i was just pissed off i was like like i wasn't pissed off at him like more on me because i was like how is it possible that i failed but anyway so just don't be overconfident if you have done it just take your time so um i failed and then i went home i cried a little bit because i was just like really mad at myself and i looked online to try to book my my second attempt and there wasn't anything so that's another thing like i think it's every tuesday that they like do a refresher or you could check every every day to see if somebody canceled but the only uh test that was available like i had to wait until tuesday was until december 24 december 25th so christmas eve and christmas day i mean i i was gonna be in new york so i couldn't do it so i did it until today december 28th i was gonna stay this whole week in new york but i had to come back so today when i woke up um it was so foggy i don't know if I'll, I'll insert that video in the beginning of when we were driving to the dmv it was so foggy and i was like oh my god like especially um there's like there's this uh street where you have to stop and it's like a double like a two lane like one going this way one going that way and it's like really hard to see from like you have to step a little out of the curb to see so i was kind of cautious of that i was like hopefully it's not that foggy that i won't be able to see if a car is coming but anyway so practice 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 just practice i practiced this whole week and then in the morning today we got up really really early so today my test was at 9 a.m so i went before they even open the dmv so i can heat up uh, they recommend you drive around uh, before your test just to like heat up or prep because you know like they say if you're gonna like run a like a 10 kilometer uh, marathon or something they tell you to heat up or to stretch so the same thing so i recommend you drive around or practice parking you know because it's like early in the morning or whatever time you're gonna do it but it just helps so that's what i did and then i had a quick breakfast in the parking lot waiting for my turn you have to be there 15 minutes before so at 8 45 we rolled in and there was two people in front of me um one passed one failed and then it was me and so this time it was the same guy but he didn't make me do whatever he told me to do the last time and he was he was really nice this time and i passed so um i'm just gonna give you just a little like tips or insights i'm not gonna tell you everything because you guys do need to practice uh you know you have to be a safe driver i don't wanna uh make you think oh i just have to do this and i'm gonna pass and then you are a terrible driver no like take this seriously especially if you're a young viewer 
like if you're 17 or 18 because i know there's um some high school kids that get their test and their driver's license really really early as soon as they hit like 16 17 so really take this seriously and so you do the test in the residential area they do not take you out um you know on lancaster avenue and they don't make you do any of the um, three-point turns or anything or a k or k turn or y turn whatever you like to call it so um that's all i'm gonna say just be cautious and like i said practice driving around you do pass by a school so be cautious if you do uh, take the test while there's school hours. There are no signs. So just be cautious um, with your speed and look up the speed for residential areas in Pennsylvania. You don't want to go at 45, you know, or 35 um, because there's some there's some places that you could do 35 if it's like not posted, but if it's residential you know just study and practice that's right okay so one thing i remember to add that i have forgot to mention was what i did this time like on my second attempt today i did everything so much different i was like you know what i'm gonna take my time i do not care i saw a video of this girl she said that she had wasted 15 minutes like just parking excuse me so there is no time limit like the instructor tells you there's no time limit for your parking so i was like i am gonna take my time this time i do not care you know i don't give a shit sorry but it's true just take your time so i aligned myself i reversed you know you have to stop until you see the three cones on your left side and then you straighten your wheel out and you go a little more back until you see that cone pass towards the front like the front right of your car just a little bit and then you turn your wheel all the way to the left right but before turning my wheel all the way to the left i stopped and i told him i am gonna fix my mirrors so i can see the curb so i stopped i took my time and put both of my mirrors down on both sides and so i can see the curb and then that's when i did all the way to the left and i fit in perfectly and i did you know i put it in parking and my handbrake and he said he didn't even get out the car because like it was obvious that it was really well and like from what i from he could see from my my um mirrors that i was inside of the white box so same thing when i got out he told me to get out and to turn towards the right after the parking lot, you know. And so I did it again. I was like, I'm going to fix my mirrors. So I refixed my mirrors. I took my parking brake off and I put it in reverse and I got out. So that was what I did differently. In that stop that I told you that is very tricky, um, I did the same thing. I told him. I, uh, I'm going to stop and I tell him I don't see anything. So I'm going to roll out just a little bit more so I can see. So I told the instructor so he wouldn't think I was just going to, you know, go out. And that's what I did. So I'm trying to think of anything else. In that, um, that intersection or whatever, when you have to turn, what I, that there's, I think that's like the most, um, I wouldn't say dangerous, but one of the trickiest, cause like I said, there's, there's one way and another way, and there's like a bush on your left, so you can't really see, and there's sometimes parked cars towards the right, so you can't see either, so if it helps, put your window down so you can hear, so if you can't see, at least you can hear, but again, you should roll out just a little bit, so you can both, you can see both sides, and then, um, so you can hear, so that's just a tip that I'm going to tell you. And don't forget, if you, even though it's clear and you're turning, just keep checking. Because, you know, for your safety, just keep checking. Just in case if, like, from another block, um, a car, like, turns really quickly onto the, onto the road that you are in. 
but no rolling stops so do not stop and then kind of, oh there's no car let me go no you have to come to a complete stop like your little speedometer thing and whatever has to go to zero to nothing okay so make sure you stop behind the white line if there's a white line or the stop sign if you can't see anything uh, you know just roll out a little bit and stop again until you can see and then proceed always check your mirrors left and right left again your blind spot that's really important um and just don't go really really fast so check your speed because if you pass it you fail um and you don't want to go too fast just because if like if there's like a sudden turn somewhere you don't want to you know make a like a break really really hard and then you know you're that's not good they like you to speed up very smoothly and brake really smoothly so very steadily and what else i think that's all i have to say let me check my notes yeah i think that's it so i'll insert a video that my husband took or my sister of when i passed my test so good luck to all of you who are going to take your tests I mean, I prayed before, if you're religious, I prayed the night before, I searched on Google um, prayers for for your driver's test, and those prayers helped me, because I couldn't sleep last night just thinking about all of this stuff, but they do help, I, I prayed for God to help me, for Jesus to help me control my hands and my feet, to clear my vision, and to... Um, kind of like tell me in my brain like when to stop um before not like before i hit the cones or anything and i passed i am so so happy and so good luck guys if i think of any other tips i'll put them in the description box but just stay calm breathe practice 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 if you fail like i did just book it again book it again and i think you get three tries for a for the permit i'm sorry and they do have an extension so that's another thing if because if i had failed this time i would have like one more time but it would probably my permit would have probably expired by then because again it's february 1st and today is Jan uh, december 28th so i probably i don't know i probably got my test like by the end of january if i was lucky and if not until february so they do have an extension uh, of your permit, I think, for if it expires or you pass um, you pass your three tries that you fail. So that's just another thing that they do do here in Pennsylvania. And I think that's it, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And good luck on your driver's test if you are having one. Honestly, I wish all of you pass. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, so I'm editing this video right now. It's nighttime, so sorry if the lighting is bad. But I'm just going to make this quick video because I forgot to include it. So when I got out of the parking lot and I started driving, you know, towards the right, guess what, guys? There was a garbage truck that was not functioning. So it was just sitting there. And another garbage truck had to come, so it was parked in front of it, taking out all the garbage from one truck to another. So this was right in front of me. So I had basically to go around two garbage trucks. So this is just a tip so you can expect the unexpected. And the thing is, always make smart decisions. So, of course, I checked my mirrors my blind spot i so i signaled and i looked in front of me on the other lane if any other car was coming the best i could and i prayed that no car would come and when it was safe to do so i proceeded to go so that was just something that i wanted to include so just you know make smart decisions and always 
do what you're supposed to do and you'll be fine.